Here we are, um, <clears throat> Hometown Hobbies, live, streaming our first FNM. Um, it's standard format. The players are going to be playing for um, some awesome prizes. Uh, we're going to have the battlefield here on the map. This isn't a map. This is a Twitch. Let's see. you got to move it up. It's going to make this full screen. Make them both full screen. It'll be easier to... Move them around. Sorry about that. Still getting used to a Twitch. So there we go. This is what we're going to be staring at for the majority of the evening. We're going to have a player up top and a player at the bottom. I do not have a banner yet, so you will have to bear with me on that. I'll try my hardest to keep life totals updated on this end. Um, on the right side, you're going to be able to see the life totals. Um, so there's that. Um, courtesy of Michael Stewart, he's the one who hooked us up with this um, temporary life scoring system. Um, we'll be using uh, the regular Swiss format. Assuming we have over 32, it'll be uh, five rounds. Or, I'm sorry, it'll be uh, six rounds with 32 or, or 33 or more. Um, Right now, I believe we are in the five round 17 through 32 bracket. So we're a handful off from getting to the six round threshold. Uh, so yeah, let's get pretty hyped to play some Magic the Gathering this evening. Uh, we're not sure what's gonna be the big deck of the night. Could be one of the mini dragon decks. It could be a Tarka Red, regular mono red. It's had a decent showing here at recent Grand Prix. Um, there's Red Green Dragons, there's Esper Dragons, Mardu Dragons, Mardu Tokens, there's Jeskai, it's still a thing. There's uh, a plethora of decks available, and uh, we'll see, you know, how they uh, fare out tonight. We're about 10 minutes from start time. Um, I will probably leave you with... Let me go get him, actually. I have to leave you with my co-host here. I believe you all know him as Garrick. Let's see if I can get him on here. Garrick, how are you today? You're doing all right. All right. There's that. Uh, so yeah, we're you know 11 minutes away from start time. Monday. Ooh, that's loud. I'm trying to get the chat up on my iPad. Let's see what's looking like over there. I'll see if I can get a couple of the players over there to play some games while we're waiting. Yeah, it looks like. Uh, Brian is over there right now at the top. That's his deck box. Let's see what's looking like over there. I'll see if I can get a couple. Yeah, if possible, if uh, any of you from hometown are watching, please uh, ask Brian Fry to play somebody in the back so we can get something going on the screen for the next roughly 10 minutes to uh, not make it to where I'm just talking by myself because. If I do that with nothing going on, it's going to be very boring very quickly. Um, streaming from Hometown Hobbies. We're located in Huntington, West Virginia. I'm currently in Rare Drops. It is the retro video game store next door. Um, they specialize in many different uh, game systems. Everything from Atari 2600, maybe even older, I'm not entirely sure all the way into the new stuff, the PS4s and Xbox Ones of the world. Um, and then on the other side of Hometown Hobbies, we have Purple Earth. It's a nerd row, I like I like to call it. I don't. It doesn't have a, an official name or anything, but that's what I like to say. Let's see if we can get some action on this stream. I thought for sure that they were going to start, but instead it looks like they packed up their stuff. Um, so yeah, that did not work out how I wanted it to. Uh... Thanks. Yeah, so, uh, what do you want to say, Garrick? You wish you could see some play? Mm. Yeah, he says he wish he was seeing standard play. What's your favorite, uh, iteration of yourself? Mm hmm. Garrick Wildspeaker. Unbelievable. You know, I would have guessed that because that is my favorite one, too. That's crazy. Uh, it's small world. Let's see if I can get you somewhere that you're not. You're not just falling around. Get behind me, Garrick. I got Garrick on my side, everyone. So, uh, 
Let's see. I'm going to go uh, next door, see if I can get some matches going, and I will keep the stream going. I'm going to put it on the other side. I'm sorry that there's going to be some quiet for a minute. I'll see if I can fix that. Oh, maybe they're playing. Yeah, okay. They're getting somebody on there right now, so that's even better. Don't worry about that. I don't have to do anything. Looks like at the bottom, if I had to guess, it'd be Tim Gaskill. Um, I'm still not sure at the top, though. I, th I know that uh, Brian Fry has been playing the Soul Tie Reanimator deck, um, the newer builds with Sidisi Undead Vizier, um, and he's been liking it. Uh, he hasn't had a chance to play in too many tournaments recently. He's an older face that has recently came back around, and uh, it might be maybe due to the fetch lands being reprinted. The last time he came back to standard was in Zendikar block, and then he took a hiatus when the fetches rotated. So... I think we're seeing a pattern with Brian Fry. Tim Gaskill is a uh, player from the Charleston area, St. Albans, Nitro, that area of West Virginia. And uh, I'm not entirely sure what he's rocking today. It might be the green-white deck. I know he was looking for Death Mist Raptors earlier on the day. So we'll see if either of what I said actually happens. They're trying to get someone on camera next door. It's wouldn't think it'd be that difficult. Oh, there we go. We have a deck box down. Oh, two deck boxes. At the top, I am not entirely sure. It's different. It might be. If it's red sleeves, it's... No, it's not red sleeves. This is going to be uh, new for me. I'm not entirely sure who what two players are on the screen right now. sure my notifications are off. Shuffling up and it looks like they're going to do a quick pile shuffle. Once again, tonight's prizes are going to be uh, plenty and bountiful. Uh, we will be giving out a booster box of Modern Masters 2 to the first place finisher of this tournament. Uh, if top 4 wants to split, top 8 wants to split, that is an option also. Um, but... Right now, it's scheduled to play out all of top eight. Um, in addition to that, if we uh, hit at least 30 players, we're going to add six packs of Scars of Mirrodin to the prize pool, six packs of Innistrad to the prize pool, and six packs of Return to Ravnica, along with two packs of Modern Masters 2013. And it looks like it's Michael and uh, Michael Leon and Cody Hill. Um... I believe Cody Hill is at the bottom of the screen, and Michael is at the top. I am pretty sure I'm not an entire 100%, but I'm probably 95. Um, the, bo the box that we're giving out of Modern Masters... To oh, I'm sorry, I need to change the Twitch title. Oh, I am so sorry. We are not opening a box of Modern Masters tonight. That was last night's stream. Tonight we're playing FNM. Uh, we opened a box last night, and you can find that on YouTube now. Uh, we we pulled some really good stuff. I will admit it was a nice box. I have to go to my channel and fix that. I'm sorry about that. Uh, if you're here to watch a booster box of Modern Masters 2015 be open, I'm sorry to let you down. We did that last night. Uh, tonight we are doing standard FNM with Modern Masters Prize. And it looks like they're actually playing Modern. Alright, so uh, I'm a little behind. It looks like Cody led with a Goblin Guide into Michael's turn two. Tidebinder Mage to keep it tapped. Cody's going to go to 3 life. Crack a Blood Mire for a Mountain. And he might have a Searing Blood. Or, uh, Searing Blaze. I'm sorry. Yes, he has Searing Blaze for the Tidebinder Mage. And he's going to shock him for 3, and they need to remember to mark that on the life totals. But it looks like they didn't remember...
Cody draws for turn. After uh, Michael plays Island, Lord of Atlantis, pass. Cody's going to play an Aired Mesa, tap a red for a Monastery Swift Spear, and swing in with both, triggering the Goblin Guide. Michael looks at his hand and thinks. Goblin Guide's... Tr okay, they realize now the Searing Blaze. Goblin Guide's trigger has been uh, activated and revealed a Vapor Snag, which is going to be a decent card for Michael to draw, especially if uh, Cody, which now he won't, but pumps a lot of spells into the Swift Spear. Uh, looks like Cody's going to fetch for another mountain. He already has his white source, so there's no point to take any more damage. Uh, an answer to the chat. Yes, we did get a Tarmogoyf out of that booster box, along with many other things. Um, Cody, in response to, or after blocks have been declared, he's going to play Boros Charm, triggering the Monastery Swift Spear, getting in for eight, putting... That was eight, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they only marked him five. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I believe Michael should be at seven unless I missed something. He had, a, I believe Oboro was the land that was untapped. Um, so I'm not sure what he could have done. He did not Vapor Snow. He drew that this turn. So he has two mana up. Shocks himself for two. Yeah, he plays a second Monastery Swift Spear. That's going to make things interesting uh, against a couple of 3-3 three, three Lords. Uh, he gets in there with everybody, triggers Goblin Guide, flips, reveals another Lord of Atlantis, which is all right. And then he's going to block on the Goblin Guide with a Pearl Trident, and he's going to block one Swift Spear with the Lord of Atlantis, which is a 3-3, so he will need two spells to trigger and keep his Swift Spear alive. Um, he plays a Boros Charm, putting him down to 6, 4, and Cody has a Swift Spear active and suspends a Rift Bolt. And it looks like Cody is top decking now, and Michael... Has plenty of cards in hand, but can he stabilize and he'll be at one life. It's going to be tough. See, it looks like he has a Mara Regery, a Vapor Snag, a Lord of Atlantis, and an unknown card that I can't tell. Maybe just a second Mara Regery. He plays the first one. Swings in with both Lords. They're both 4-4s. Four Cody goes to 6. Unsuspends Rift Bolt, shoots him for three. Michael's going to untap. He drew that other Lord of Atlantis with a Mara Regery trigger. He might actually just be able to swing for lethal this turn. Yeah. Yeah, Michael, Michael did it with Merfolk. Um, and there were life total discrepancies. I, I'm pretty sure Michael was supposed to actually have lost that game, uh, but I wasn't in the room, so I'm not entirely sure, but I think life totals were not kept correctly in that game. Hopefully, they'll do a better job for FNM. Um, but yeah, we should be underway here momentarily. Uh, they're certainly, uh, packing it up. Um... Oh, it looks like round one's going to be 10 minutes late. Um, so sorry about that. It looks like we might have another game of Modern, and maybe they'll keep life totals correct this time. Uh, that's the hope. Looks like they're pile shuffling again. Are they, is this the stream on the stream? Streaming my stream? We have to go deeper. 